Well, imagine a full lecture hall, a church with every pew occupied, or dinner being served at a wedding reception. Well, now picture all of those individuals overdosing on drugs. I spoke with members of the Wheeling Police Department, including the chief and a peer liaison on their concerns with the fentanyl crisis in our area and learned that the crisis goes way beyond just that. That's the reality for the city of Wheeling, where the average of individual overdoses is 200 people per year, 26 of those resulting in death just last year. What we found in the most recent 60 needles were all 100% contained fentanyl. 76%, I think it was 46 of the 60 needles, also contained xylazine. Unlike fentanyl and heroin, Xylazine, which is used as a horse tranquilizer, is non-responsive to Narcan, leading to a spike in overdose deaths nationwide. It's creating a problem, especially in Wheeling, where helping those who have not met that fate just yet is becoming more and more difficult. I'm all about accountability, but I don't necessarily believe we can arrest our way out of this drug problem. You just cannot, there's no amount of accountability that you can give someone who is purely addicted like that. So we look at other initiatives. That's where peer liaison Erica Biggers comes in. Since March, the Wheeling Police Department has spearheaded crisis intervention by being the first in the state of West Virginia to bring on peer liaisons from First Choice Services out of Charleston. Liaisons like Erica bridge the gap between officers and addicts as she's in recovery herself. She responds to overdose calls alongside Wheeling police officers to be a softer presence next to what may feel like an intimidating uniform for some. Nobody wants the textbook recovery speech. I know I wouldn't have when I was getting clean, so I'm able to not only say, hey, there's a way, I know there's a way because I did it. I feel like our positions are a crucial part of bridging the gap between services and the community um, enhancing help and services, um, helping officers, and you know, showing a positive change that just because they're addicts today doesn't mean that what they'll be tomorrow. She says many of the individuals she visits with aren't even aware that the drugs they were using had fentanyl or xylazine in them. It's people that I've seen deteriorate quickly with these new drugs, um, and then it's some that I probably thought. Oh man, I don't know if I'll ever be able to, that come and tell me a year or two later, hey, this is what I've done, this is where I've been. You never know when a spike's going to come, when a spike's going to go. You just always are prepared. Although drugs are in Wheeling and are not going anywhere, it's the team of professionals here who are committed to the fight at the state, local, and national level to help even just one person. I'm happy to report so far, and we're in September of 24, uh, we do have about a 22% decrease in overdoses and a 46 I believe percent decrease in overdose deaths this year so is that the peers I would say it's probably a large part of it there are many factors that are at play I'm sure but I think the peers uh, that we have been we've employed here um, are making an impact Chief Schwartfager emphasized the point that he spent 21 years in the state of Virginia and saw more drugs his first three years in Wheeling than he ever did in Virginia. He saw the transition from pills to heroin to meth and crack cocaine to the present day where drugs like fentanyl and xylazine are taking over.